All right, a Kamigawa Neon Dynasty draft. Let's see the rare here. Four, three, crew two. That's probably good enough. I mean, it's a pretty threatening card. You can attack with it on turn three. The ability, this looks like it could be okay in black red, where you can sacrifice the one mana exile top card. Other cards to consider is the Colossal Sky Turtle, but it's pretty committing. You want to be two colors, even though you could technically play it as a bad version of one of the cards. This is also a good card, but it's, uh, it's a little slow. I mean, I like it, but I think I'm going to take the rare here. It's uh, just four free crew, too, seems very good. So, And also, it is an artifact by itself, and black has some good artifact themes, especially black red, as I said. This rare is a little less good. I think it's a little too hard to get to work. It is a two for one, but you need to have very specific cards make it work. I like this and I also think this is fine. I might just take the chain flaw, it keeps me open. It's another artifact, so now I have two solid artifacts and I've been pretty impressed with this card. It's a pretty good split card of a 4-2 attacker or you can just put it on something and kind of force the trade. I don't like the bronze cudgels and the rest is not very good. So I think you're going to stay open. I think the Oroki Murder Keeper is fine, but it isn't that much better than the common that does the same thing. You can channel it. March of Reckless Joy. I think that card is decent. It's a uh, basically three mana for, for um, Reckless Impulse, but then it does a little bit more. It's also an instance. You can do it at the end of the opponent's turn if you want to. Or you can actually, it doesn't even do that much, but you can, I think I'm going to take that. I think it's a solid card and black red is a color combination I want to be in. All right, so here we have a runaway trash boot. It's a fine card. It also is an artifact, which means that if I'm black red, it could be okay. Unstoppable ogre I think is worse. And we have prosperous thief too. Which would go nice in a Ninja deck, but it, I mean, this card is not that good in a Ninja deck. I think you want to be Black Red Artifact. So I'm going to take the Trash Pot here. <laughs> this is a cool card, but I don't know about that. Uh, it seems unnecessary. I think I'm going to take the Guide Boat here. It's an artifact, it's, as I already said, a good card. And the Blade Keeper I like more in uh, Black White, where you have more enchantment. So another artifact here. Okay, um, some fine cards here. Clawing Torment. It also is an enchantment because sometimes you randomly end up with payoffs for artifact enchantment. I think the best card might be the Puzzle Maker, but I think we're gonna take Twisted Embrace. It's a fine card. It's a little risky, but I think it's definitely playable. Also an enchantment, by the way. Okay, um, I think this card is again decent. It also works nicely with this, gives it menace without sacrificing anything. Also, an enchantment mirror <laughs> box, probably not. Yeah, no. The Unstoppable Ogre is this card I could play. Alright, um, Ninja or Rogue? I got this card, but you can't even return this with the con. We're gonna take it though, just in case. And Okay, so as we wind down pack number one, I'm definitely black. I'm leaning towards red, but these cars are not super high. I have a theme of some artifacts and some enchantments. Ooh, you're already dead is actually a playable card. I think it's better than this, although you could maybe do something with sack outlets, but yeah. 
I don't mind main decking one of these. It's pretty good with um, some cheap turns, but I might not play two, but take it for signaling purposes. But yeah, so I could also be some. Ooh, all right, so now I could actually play some, maybe some cards at key of artifacts and enchantments. Cloud Steel Kirin is a good one. Is it good enough for me to abandon though? I could also just take the Silencer, which is an okay card. I mean, this is a very powerful card. And I'm not married to red. Also, the Silencer isn't that good in uh, red black because you want to be ninjas. I think I'll take the Cloud Steel Kirin, it's just a very good card. And I could be black white, and then. I would have some use for some of my enchantments. Oh, well, I am heavy black, so I'm gonna take the invoke. It's just a bomb. Basically, you can sometimes often destroy two creatures and draw a card, and the opponent loses two life. At its worst, your opponent sacks a creature, and you draw two cards, and, and your opponent loses four life. That's just very good. So yeah, I wanna pick up some lands now, but that was good. Okay, um, how many modified creatures do I have? This, potentially this, maybe this. I mean, it's not even that good, but... Kami of Industry. Or the Blade Blesser. I think I'm gonna take the Blade Blesser. I have some artifacts and enchantments. And it's not that, that good. These red cards are not even that good. Oh, Assassin's Ink, good removal spell. Also the only cult anvil, but... Okay, oh, well, now it looks like red is open. I have Kami's Flare and Sokasan Smelter, both really good. Do I have any combos with the Smelter? <laughs> not really, so I should probably take Kami's Flare. I like this card, but you want some good combos, it's nice with fire speed. So, um, yeah. Would like, wouldn't mind the blood fell caves with this mana base, but we are having a reasonable solid deck here. Doubled a little bit in white, but battled pretty fast. So I got Enchantment, enchantment, enchantment. So I got three enchantments and a bunch of artifacts. So I could play some of the cards to trigger of artifacts and enchantments when you have both in play. Speaking of which, here is the card that keys of that, and I think it's a very good in this deck. So I'm gonna take it, it's better than another chain. Base centipede. Scarlet Pattern would make me splash the Kirin, but is this a plus splash of a card? I don't think so. It's a good card, but worth splashing, I don't know. Okay, we got Reckoness Bargain, Searchlight Companion, or Tempered in Solitude, a non enchantment. I'm gonna take this, I think this card is very good. You can often afford to attack with only one creature if you draw an extra card, which basically what it does. Works nice with this, works nice with this. Yeah, so I like it. I think this deck is getting very, very good. We got a lot of things. We got a lot of removals in uh, Twisted Embrace and Assassin's Ink. This technically is Camus Flare. And we got some solid creatures, a little low on the creature count. Economy of industry is still not great. Might take Xenian Sling. Just maybe. A boar or a song shaper. I think the song shaper is more solid. Another clone torment, return to action. Uh, I don't know. No song shaper, maybe. Explosive entry or artificer. 
Uh, maybe there is some. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm going to take Scarred Barons here. I don't want to play two Ogres. I might not even play the first one. This is a kind of a weak card. Ooh. Recurrence Bard. Not bad. Mm -hmm. And the last pack is coming up. So we got 20 playables, but I would like to cut some of the cards. Okay. Um, not the best pack I've ever seen. I think it's between Rabbit Battery, another Trash Boot, an Ambusher, or a Centipede. I think another Trash Boot is just good. It just seems like it has more synergy with this deck. So. Not the ideal first pick, but they are getting, it's the kind of card that gets better in multiples, so it's uh, reasonable. I would like some more enablers for this card. Right now this doesn't look that good, or am I even sacking for value? I don't know, you wanted um, one mana. You want, there are some nice combos with it. You have the one mana Excel top card your library and play it. Ooh, Tesseret, huh? Well, there isn't anything else. I'm not gonna play it, but it might be worth some value. Hang on. Yeah, it's five and a half tickets, and there isn't anything that I'm super excited about. I might play the Companion or the Ninja's Kunai, but Tesseret it is. Ooh. So now there is Dragon Spark Reactor. I think I have enough in artifacts for that. That's just a good card here. I mean, Silencer is okay again. Not great in this deck, but Reactor. All right, we got some good ones. We got Long Rage of Night. I like this card. I also love Grave Lighter. I think I'm gonna take that. It's just a asks less of you. So now, what cards would I cut? Simeon Sling? You're already dead, also doesn't seem necessary. I could also cut this right now, it doesn't do much, honestly. Hmm. Twitch Shot Sniper, that's a good one. That uh, goes directly in my deck. I think Simeon Sling can go. Ooh, no, that is Life of Toshiro Umusawa or Okiba Salvage. I think Life of the Umusawa is just good. It's a good card. Smelter can go. You already dead can go. Yeah. All right, uh, another smelter. Doesn't do much. Take another twisted embrace, I guess. It is a little risky, but what are you going to do? I actually think I like Uncharted Haven here. I mean, Lethal Exploit is fine, but it's not necessary. I don't think I got over the removal, and this helps me with the despair. And I also have enough playables. Hmm. Root suits on, maybe. Search like a pen wheel anyway. K 
Keep a salvage. I actually think that card could be playable. Instead of something. Got a lot of enchantments. Do I only have 11 creatures in now? Nah, it's not complete. I think that's good. I'm going to add basics, I think. 9 7 seems like a good split because I have the end book. Alright. On the play here, and this seems like a fine hand. This has channel so if i absolutely need to kill something for two mana i will but of course you don't want to do that unless you have to but it's a nice thing to do with the trash bot if that's the case okay so many trash bots what i might do is just run out the unstoppable ogre on turn three and then trade it off to pump up the boot So there. Okay, I can kill with the sniper. I'm not gonna do it yet, not just yet. I'm gonna wait. So I'm gonna play the ogre here and hopefully trade it off. But we'll see. Oh, <laughs> well then, that's gross. Just gonna do this. Reason is I don't want my opponent to pump up and get him for free. Maybe play a ninja and I'm gonna do this anyway I think at some point. So we both two for one dark opponents here, but my opponent is missing one color and if it's blue I really don't want my opponent to ninja me. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of bad for me. We can do this. Then I'm gonna, I wanna, really want to... Well, I mean, I can't just... Got a boot to pump up this, so now it can attack past that. But this is a two for one city, it seems. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, let's attack with that. Play a land, and if I draw another land, I could go Assassin's Inc. plus Grave Lighter. But I don't think a grave lighter is gonna be good enough right now. I don't think a tutor fly is gonna get me there, so I really want to draw the card. And by doing that, also I have nothing good to sacrifice, whereas my opponent can probably sacrifice whatever. side out the ogre. I don't have too many cars that get wrecked by this, so I want to allow, allow, avoid it. Okay. Does have summoning sickness. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wait. Okay, so my opponent has enchantment, 
Artifact, Enchantment, Artifact. Alright, I can't avoid that. Can't avoid it. Alright. Alright. Um, play this and. 5-4 You can like this and then I feel like I'm trading up here and it also pumps up So, if my opponent finds a removal spell for this, I'm in trouble, real big trouble, because right now that's the only thing I have. And that doesn't do it, I mean it deals with this, I suppose, but that also pumps up my trash bot. <laughs> also pumps up my opponent's knight's reach, but I have an answer for that, so there isn't too many bad draws for me here. Because if I draw a land, I can go ink into... God, I, why is my, why is, this is such a bad card, I hate it. Horrible card. That card is just horrible. Edicts are so bad and limited. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Oh, this is so gross. All right. I guess uh, this costs four now. I lose because of this garbage, annoying. Alright, well, let's see here. I'm gonna take out the ogre. I don't think I wanna put in this just because of the life of Umsava. Maybe. I think this could be an okay cyber card, just draw some cards. But yeah, edicts are so bad in limited, but people just love to play them, it's annoying. Good hand, except of course the despair might take a while to get online. Mountain is better than nothing, but it's a little annoying. Okay, I guess I discard a mountain here. Mountain doesn't do much for me anyway. <laughs> But it's <laughs> okay. Pretty sure I was playing uh, nine swarms and seven mountains. Some two mana thing. Okay. Mm. Well. <laughs> I shouldn't have played a land. Yeah, I shouldn't have played a land. <laughs> uh, this is just annoying. Yeah, 
as well play it, I guess. Got a... But yeah, my opponent has a lot of value cards. And I'm losing this game pretty badly. Alright, we're done. Can't put Twist and Bait on your opponent's creatures, sadly. Otherwise, it would be kind of risk free. Alright, try it again. I'm not done yet. Alright, on the play again in the decent hand. Really good against the Grave Lighter if it's on Edict mode, but hopefully I can draw a card instead. Red White. Red white with artifact fee. Okay. <coughs> so getting attacked for free here, I think, yeah. Now the question is I think it's just gonna be a twisted embrace here. This also makes um Assassin's Sin cost 2 black, which means I can next turn go um, Assassin's Sin into Grave Lighter, but of course I probably could have something to say about that, but Or not well, It seems to be artifact aggro here But I'm doing a pretty good job racing here Okay. Alright, so destroy that. And two to fly draw car, pretty good. <laughs> Attack for five. Sadly I'm trying to draw an only land. Unfortunate. Pont has three spells in hand, I imagine. And that. Alright. Not doing too well here. Good thing I took that Tesseract. <laughs> Got half the draft back. Okay, that's not great, but so let's see if I attack. Yeah, I don't think my opponent can kill me. Of course, um, uh, it basically is not great here, but at least makes my opponent have to be a little careful. This does threaten to kill my opponent through one blocker, so my opponent needs to leave two blockers back because I can attack with this sacrifice something. Okay, my opponent does not fear that, so my opponent could have Gideon's Intervention, deal 4. But it's now actually dead to... Uh, so that was pretty fortunate. So now my opponent needs two things. Because both these cards are going to be lethal. Um, the thing that beeps is my computer loses uh, power. <laughs> okay. 
and get it back. Loses it and gets it back. Alright, so I don't know what my pawn could have here, but we'll see. I have two lethal threats. I was expecting the deal four to an attacking creature. That's not good enough here. Because I drew a creature. Alright, well, whatever it was, it wasn't enough. So, artifacts. I think I might want this. Maybe this card just sucks, I don't know. Uh, this card seems a little slow. Maybe actually tempered in solitude is kind of bad in this matchup. Oh, we'll do this. We'll do this. All right, reasonable hand. Reasonable hand. Can raise pretty effectively with the four free. Uh, so what do I do next turn? Point is aggroing me pretty hard. I could play that. Two, two. But I can't block next turn either way, so I might as well just play this, right? Because I can't block that thing anyway. Hmm. Okay, there's that. I guess I do this and not do anything. I'm just gonna pass, then I have a 4 free blocker at the ready. And I'm gonna have to play control here a little while. Try to pick off some things and then. Really? Well, I'm uh, calling here, whatever you have. Okay. I understand, I understand. Still having to play that thing as a, uh, what's it called? Um, instant speed rather than cause it is not nothing, especially with this. Next turn. It doesn't do much, honestly, because I can just crew in response. But I suppose next turn does some things, but so let's see here. What happens if I block here? Does lose control at end of turn, but is it... Does this mean it dies? I don't know how that works. So my idea is if I block this, it takes 4 damage. Then at the end of turn, my opponent loses control of that, but probably doesn't do it until the end of, you know. Alright, I guess I just block here then. <sighs> I think that's safer. A two. Alright. Mm -hmm. I can go. Trash bot and pass and Q 
kill that. We have two. So now that thing I can block with the trash pot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, wow. All right. So I'm not dead, but man, <laughs> two of these in an aggro deck, which has this. Steel four. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. That's not the best hand I've ever seen. I think I'm just gonna kill that. Basically, it seems like not want to build this deck around artifacts, so having that being killed seems like a good idea. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna do this. Um, throwing a non lamb would be nice. Trying to break up the synergies of my opponent's deck. So, for example, by trading this aggressively, I uh, remove artifacts from play and also makes cards like the threat and worse because you don't want to trade damage if. You um, okay. Okay. Place that, but he played a land first. Oh my God! Why is my opponent never punished for bad plays? My opponent played this uh, after playing a land, and now he hits a one drop. All right, whatever. Yeah. All right. All right. Never punished. Oh. <laughs> that was close. Mm. 
That was a good draw, a really good draw. Uh, I was lucky, but we are still hanging by a thread here. Okay, I'm probably just gonna kill that. Because it's an enabler for this and it makes it hard for me to attack. Ooh, well, we could do that next turn. But first, let's kill that thing. Keep attacking. So also now is protected from the deal four. Yeah. Got land. So my, this time I won't play the right. I think I'm fine with trading this for a 2 to plus the deal 4 because it prevents my opponent from attacking and getting a trigger. Let's say I don't attack, then next turn my opponent attacks and gets a free card. So I much rather, even though also my opponent may not have it, but I. Uh, but yeah, okay, my opponent has. Anyway, so now my one doesn't get to draw a car next turn with this, which is, I think, huge. At the end of turn, I can go just do march for six and get the two best cards next turn. So okay, so acceptable. Because my just wants to enable this. Okay. Hell. Oh, I, I see, I see, I see. You may play up to two of those cards until the end of your next turn. Okay, I see. So, uh, interesting. So, I have some options. Um, I can play the Assassin's Ink and it gets cheaper. So, I can go. Boot into Okiba Reckoner Raid into Assassin's Inc. I could also go boot into Song Shaper, but I think. I guess this was a little risky, but anyway, now I have a card draw engine in play, which is nice. Lost some good cards, but that's okay. No.
No, oh, things are looking good now. I'm gonna keep drawing cards. And unless my opponent has a sweeper, this is looking pretty good. The top of my deck was friendly. Oh. Put it on the card I care about losing the least. I guess I could have played around Kami's Flare, but seems unlikely my opponent has that. Just because I think my opponent would have used it already. All right. This will do it. I think I need to go. But uh, thank you for watching. And see you soon.